This lesson will introduce you to Portfolio Analyst, show you how to log in, and will explain the display configuration. You will also learn about available reports and how to start the process of building your own customized reports and have them delivered to your email address. Portfolio Analyst can be accessed from several places. From the IBKR website, users may log in to account management or can access the client portal from the login button at the top right of any page. Alternatively, you can access Portfolio Analyst when logged in to TWS from account management. And don't forget, you can access from any mobile device. Use your TWS login credentials to access account management. When you log in to our responsive account management page, locate the menu to the upper left of the page and expand the reports section and click on Portfolio Analyst. Before you can see any net asset value or NAV data for your new IB account, you'll be prompted to activate Portfolio Analyst. This usually takes one business day. Before you can view data in any external accounts, you must first add them to Portfolio Analyst. Later, we will show you how to navigate the Manage External Accounts area to add and manage your external accounts. You can reduce the left side menu by clicking on this icon. If you have multiple accounts, when you log in, you will be able to select one or several accounts and your screen display will look like this. Use this icon to hide and display the account selector. There are three sections on display from the Portfolio Analyst homepage. Account Net Asset Value, or NAV for short, Reports, and Reports Delivery. Each section has a Help icon, which when clicked, displays additional assistance about that area. The display is in your default language. This can be changed from the Language Display icon to the upper right of the screen. Let's look first at the Account Net Asset Value section. The value of your account is displayed graphically here. Change the time period on display using the buttons above the plot. To the right of those buttons, you may change the display selection between Account Value and Asset Class for the chosen account. The Report section enables users to view PDF reports at different detail levels over time. You may view a simple snapshot report containing key activity and summary data for your account. And you can access more granular, detailed reports and much more information about the value and transaction activity in your accounts. These are pre-configured reports and users may select from three default time periods. Month to date, year to date and since inception to date. Users may access these reports by clicking on the blue arrow icon to the right of each report. Click on the Configure Gear icon to access the reports area. In the pre-configured reports area, click on any of the reports to expand its content. If you don't want to include this report in the listing, use the X icon to delete it. To add it back, use the Restore icon. Click on the Report Title bar to contract the display. Users may not customize pre-configured reports. Below the pre-configured reports area is the Custom Reports area. Should you choose to create your own customized reports, this is where you can view and edit its content. Use the Edit icon in the Reports title bar to the right to configure a previously created report. Use the plus icon to the upper right of the Reports menu bar to create an entirely new custom report. We will go into detail on building these reports in a later lesson. Make sure you have named your custom report and use the Continue button at the bottom of the display. Review the details and use the Create button to finish and save your work. The screen displays confirmation and lets you know how to access the custom report. Click OK and you will see your customized report listed in the Reports area. Click on the Reports Delivery Configuration Gear icon in the area below Reports. From this page, users may choose which reports would be delivered by checking the boxes next to each listed report. Choose the delivery method from the drop-down area and click on the Continue button. 